I, for this video, what I want to do is discuss special right triangles and then also connect that to the role that they play in the unit circle. If you understand how the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90 triangles work, it makes it a lot easier to set up the unit circle. So you don't have to go and memorize everything. Um, you can just look at the relationship between the sides of every single 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's start with the rule for the 45, 45, 90. So basically what's gonna happen is in a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, these two sides are going to be equal to each other because it's an isosceles right triangle. Okay, so if this side is x and this side is x, if I use the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus x squared equals this side squared, what ends up happening every single time in a special right triangle is this becomes x square root 2. Okay, and so because of the fact that in the unit circle, the hypotenuse is equal to 1, we can actually solve this to find x. So we could figure out what this side is here. So if I take the equation x square root 2 equals 1 and I solve just for x, I end up with x equals 1 over the square root of 2. And if you remember from algebra or from other classes, you're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator. So what we have to do is rationalize the denominator. So we would do square root of 2 over square root of 2, which ends up giving me x ends up being square root of 2 over square root of 2. So this part right here for when we're dealing with the unit circle ends up being square root of 2 over square root of 2 always. So if you think about this relationship right here, and then when we're dealing with the right triangles, this will help us find the coordinates. So I will refer back to this when I set up the coordinates, but basically what's going to happen is if you look at the right triangle right here, this side right here is a length of square root of 2 over 2, and the height of this is also square root of 2 over 2. So if you remember from other parts of trig um, that sine is always equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, and cosine is always equal to the adjacent side, which means the side next to over the hypotenuse. So when you are going to be working with the unit circle, and I'll address this again when I'm doing a video on the unit circle, we're always going to talk about this angle right here, so the 45 degree angle here. The opposite side is square root of 2 over 2, and the hypotenuse is 1. Okay, um, so this ends up being the sine, okay, and this ends up being the cosine in the unit circle. So when you're setting it up, it's always going to be, because remember in our, um, if you were setting this up in a coordinate plane, that you're going to have x comma y. And if you think about it this way right here, this is going to be the end point. The length of this is going to be my x coordinate. So this ends up being cosine comma sine is what we are going to deal with every time we're setting up our coordinates. So having the knowledge of what a 45, 45, 90 triangle looks like will help you be able to find the coordinates for cosine comma sine. Okay. So the other type of triangle that we always have is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And it can be this way where the 60 is on the bottom, or it can be flipped where the 30 is on the bottom, but the relationship is going to be the same. So when we're setting this up as far as the coordinates go, the first thing that we need to do is look at the relationship between the two. And what's going to happen is this side, no matter what it is, the relationship between this side and the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse will always be twice the length of this side. Okay, and then the side opposite of the 60 will always be whatever the side opposite of the 30 is times the square root of 3. So this is another special relationship that you just need to know. So when we are dealing with the unit circle, we know that the hypotenuse is going to be 1. So if we're trying to solve for x, what we would do is we would just set it up as 2x equals 1, so x equals 1 half. So 
when it is set up with this orientation where the 60 degrees is on the bottom, this side will always be one half. So my x coordinate will always be one half. And then this will always be the square root of three times one half or the square root of three over two. So the height for this will always be the square root of three over two. If it were drawn differently so that the 30 was on the bottom here, then your coordinates would just switch. But the 30, 60, 90 triangles, this will always be the one half and this will always be the square root of three over two. And again, it's gonna follow the same relationship. Whatever the angle is at the bottom, this is gonna be the opposite side. And so the opposite side is the height, which is going to be your y coordinate, which is going to be sine. And this will be your cosine because of the fact that the hypotenuse is one, which is why we do that. So the purpose of this video was to set up the role of the special right triangles in building um, the unit circle. And then I will do another video that I'll put a link to that shows you what all of the coordinates are based on the relationship between the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90 triangles. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe.